what's good Josh Boy Ross back at it again with another video so we got to talk about what they've been doing with Braun Breaker as of late and I've been loving it they have essentially taken the job or the role as the new up-and-coming wrestler who pretty much squashes everybody every week or every other week you know it's been very formulaic we've seen it time and time again in WWE when they're about to push someone they're gonna give him nothing but squash matches to show how dominant he is but they've taken that formula and actually expounded on it to the point where now you're even more interested in seeing what braun breaker is gonna do next week outside of just squashing someone what i've liked what they've done with him is for the past few weeks since he's been drafted to monday night raw he's been frustrated because he wasn't drafted higher up uh in the in the wwe draft he also wasn't even in the king of the ring tournament and he felt like he should have been in there i think a lot of people on paper would have loved to see uh braun in the tournament as well but they use it as a storyline angle he's not in a tournament so he's frustrated he's fighting these local jag talent wrestlers that you know ain't about the last five minutes with him in the ring so he's frustrated by it you know and even the fans you know you can play into the fact that the fans are frustrated seeing him fight these jags why isn't he in a prominent program so to visually see that and then for him on uh the week before uh on um, last week's monday night raw him destroying that random enhancement talent like it wasn't that he just destroyed him he destroyed him packed him up and was trying to end his man's wrestling career and it was brutal but the fans ate it up this is how you present braun breaker as this unstoppable uncontrollable animal and now he has this ongoing situation with Adam Pierce, and the fact that since you didn't want me want to put me in the King of the Ring tournament, I'm gonna cause ca uh, havoc. I'm gonna cause chaos. I'm going to do whatever it can, whatever I can, to just cause nothing but destruction on Monday Night Raw because you can't control me. And then on that same Raw, you have Ricochet and uh Ilya Dragunov talking and then he just packs up Ricochet just packs him up spears him through some type of uh um production crate just packs him up and then on this week's episode of Monday Night Raw Ricochet and Ilya have a match and then he comes in there and destroys both of them doesn't give a damn Adam Pierce is out there upset. Officials are, you know, trying to get things in the order. He don't give a damn. And I love that. And it's going to be interesting because it, it does like they're planting some seeds of maybe having a feud with Ricochet, with Ilya, and with Braun Breaker. But right now, they're doing probably the best job I've seen WWE do, WWE do in a while of presenting a powerhouse wrestler in such a way where you can get behind them. You want to see them destroy people. And he's coming off more like a heel, but it doesn't matter because he's so impactful and so, you know, powerful with his moves. You don't care. Like, we're starting to see a lot more people doing the roof, 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 roof noise. That's part of his, you know, his, his like, his character. He's, he's, a, he's a, a crazed dog, a dog that can't be stopped. So you're starting to see more people do that. He's getting over. We all knew that he's going to be a top prospect in WWE. But, you know, you can definitely see he's going to be a future champion, a mid-card champion, and at some point, maybe a world champion. You can The writing's on the raw wall. You just got to present him well enough that people can start to buy into it. And right now, what they're doing with Braun Breaker is fantastic. I was worried that he was going to get lost in the shuffle, but now they're doing something with him where people are going to care. So it's becoming some of the best spot parts of Monday Night Raw. Him destroying people. Wait till they build him up. Wait till he starts fighting competitors, real legit competitors on Monday Night Raw and packing them up. Wait till we get a Braun Breaker versus a Gunther. A, a world heavyweight champion Gunther. And Braun Breaker, Braun Breaker, oh, just imagine that. And it works because he is a heel in a sense, but he's not 
it, it, like Gunther. Gunther is a heel, but he doesn't need to cheat to beat you. And I think the same thing with Braun Breaker here. He's a heel in a sense, but he doesn't need need cheap tactics to beat you. He can just beat you off his talent alone. And I like that. I appreciate that. He's not just a bad guy for the sake of bad guy. He just wants to hurt and destroy people. And fans are going to get behind him. If they book him right, continue to book him correctly, I think Braun Breaker is going to be the next top guy in WWE. They have it. And they're doing right by him. So it's going to be very interesting to see what they do with him next week on Monday Night Raw. They may put him in a triple threat match with all uh, with Ilya and Ricochet. I mean, even Adam Pierce went on Twitter to address his issues because it's like he's not trying to control the guy. He just wants him to, you know, operate within the confines of the rules, and he can't. And I love that. Adam Pierce has his hands full with a guy that can't be controlled. And the fans love to see the carnage, man. So right now, they have something special in Braun Breaker. Hopefully, WWE can maintain this. And at one point, may I don't know if it'll maybe it'll be next year. Who knows? This year, I would love to see they build him up properly. You know, I would love to see that matchup between a a, a world heavyweight champion Gunther versus Braun Breaker. Oh, you know that's gonna you know that's gonna be that's gonna be must see TV. And hell, you never know. Maybe one day. One day, I don't know how you book this. Maybe one day we see a Braun Breaker versus Roman Reigns. Now that, that's going to be some must-see TV. Ooh, hoo, hoo. But right now, all we can do is just see how they build him up. You know, I'm sure at some point he's uh, he's going to, I could see him being an Intercontinental Champion, maybe. Or maybe they even shoot him straight to the main event scene. Who knows? He's going to hold a championship in WWE relatively soon, and I can't wait to see it. Hopefully, they just continue to keep booking him right because Braun Breaker, I love what they're doing with him on Monday Night Raw. Comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys are are you guys excited with what they're doing with Braun Breaker right now? Because I am. He's murdering people on television, and it fucking works. <laughs> it, it, it is entertaining as hell. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about what they've been doing with Braun Breaker as of late. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still here on Speedy YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.